since this is an, a big otter, when we were measuring, um, we have an inch and a half on each side of the arms. arms. <laughs> so we're not gonna waste it. We're gonna make these as big as possible. Keep measuring all the way up an inch and a half so that we're getting a bit even bigger strip. If you don't have an inch and a half, um, once you get to the arms, then you would square it off here. Measure again. So measure again. Under the arms. Under the arms. An inch and a half. Again. Again. According to tribe and according to the dancer, it varies how a dancer would wrap their braids and what kind of otter wraps they would use. This set of otters is being made for a dancer, like a men's traditional dancer or a women's traditional dancer, that um, would not be wearing strips on top of the otter wrap. If you are going to use otter wraps, like for a fancy shawl dancer, or for a tiny tot dancer, then that are gonna be smaller, then you would make your strips more narrow. It just depends on the project. It's not a cut and dry for every otter. The otter wraps that we're making today are like the ones in this picture of Fauna Parker. Since we have a big otter here, and we're lucky that we were able to get an inch and a half on each side of the arms, these two outside pieces, once you get to this cut, to this stage, are not gonna be used with this set of otter wraps. Since we measured an inch and a half all the way up and we get to use this whole part of the otter, and we didn't have to square it off, these two strips will be used later for a second pair of otter wraps. We had to measure in again an inch and a half, and we're gonna use these two strips and add them to the other strips that you previously cut for this set of otter wraps. It may sound a little confusing right now, but it'll make more sense in a moment. Continue slicing the otter. Be careful when you get around those little arms. Now we have our most of our strips cut. We still have a little more cutting to do, but I'm going to show you that we have two sides for two otter, otter wraps. We have the long piece that we cut first from the tail. Then here's the second cut to our second two sets of strips. The third set of strips are over here and we're going to save those for otter wraps a second pair later. Take the smaller of the two sides and square off the bottom. Reason being,
we're going to sew the two strips from the belly that we're still waiting to split to them to add the bottom part. We said they were three pieces. Now we're to the belly. Like we said, every otter is different, so it's not cut and dry. Now we're gonna cut straight across, but not completely across. Since this extra piece in the middle is long here, we don't wanna cut it off because we could use this for otter, a second pair of otter wraps. So just square off the two outside strips. We want each side of the otter wrap to be the same, about the same length. So we have the long middle from the tail, we have our second strip here, and we're gonna sew these two together so we need three pieces. We have our three pieces cut. We have our extras cut for a second pair. This side of the otter wrap, we want it to have an extra dangle, extra movement. So about three quarters of the way down, you don't need to measure. Insert your razor. Find center. Find center and so. split. And then you can split it again. This is for decoration and flair. This is for decoration and flair. It also gives it a lot better movement when you're dancing. Lonnie is a very experienced splitter. Be careful, take your time, measure twice and cut once. 